In our next section here, Christian deals with obstinate and pliable. Now he had not run far from his own door when his wife and children noticed and began to call after him to return. But Christian put his fingers in his ears and kept running, shouting, Life! Life! Eternal life! He didn't look back, but ran straight ahead across the plain. The neighbors also came out to see what was happening. Some mocked him, others threatened, and some tried to persuade him to return. Among these were two men, obstinate and pliable, who decided to bring him back by force. After some time, they caught up to Christian. Hey neighbor, where are you going? They asked. Christian replied, I can't go back. You live in the city of destruction, the same place where I was born. If you stay there, you will eventually sink lower than the grave into a place that burns with fire and sulfur. Please, co-neighbors, come with me. Obstinate said, What? Leave our friends and comforts behind? Christian replied, Yes, because everything you leave behind is not worth even a little of what I'm seeking to have. If you come with me, you will get as much as I will. Where I'm going, there is more than enough for everyone. What are you looking for that is worth leaving everything for? Asked Obstinate. I'm looking for an inheritance that will never decay, never become corrupt, and never fade away. It is kept safe in heaven and will be given to those who seek it diligently. Christian answered. Obstinate scoffed. Forget your book. Are you coming back with us or not? No, I'm not, said Christian. I have committed myself to this path. Come on then, Pliable said to Obstinate. Let's go back without him. People like him are always so sure they are right. More than seven wise men could ever be. But Pliable responded, Don't be so harsh. If what Christian says is true, the things he is looking for are better than what we have. I think I want to go with him. More foolishness, Obstinate shouted. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. He turned around and headed back home. Pliable then said to Christian, I'll come with you. Let's go. And so they went together. In this section, we see Christian's unwavering commitment to follow the path, even in the face of mockery and rejection. His neighbors, including obstinate, refused to leave their comfort zones, unwilling to risk losing what they know for something greater. Pliable, though willing at first, lacks the perseverance needed for the journey. This is a reminder that seeking first the kingdom of God requires us to leave behind not only our comforts, but also our old ways of thinking. So dear friend, when you seek first the kingdom of God, you have to understand this. It doesn't always make sense. And the people around you, sometimes the people closest to you will not understand what God is calling you to. So you have to make a decision. What will you put first? Will you truly seek first the kingdom of God or will you seek first what the other people around you want you to seek? Because there's always going to be an obstinate and there's always going to be a pliable that are going to be close by speaking into your life. That's why you need the word of God speaking truth into your heart every day as you seek him first.